So I wanted to um, just show this um, trio of awesome products. Um, the iPhone 6S. Um, I've waited to take the, the top thing off before I put the glass protector on. So we're going to have a look at that. That one's from JTEC. And this is the, going to protect the rest of the phone. The iPhone 6 is extremely droppable. If you're used to something else, um, it just falls out of the hand so easily. You definitely need to protect it. Um, in my opinion and I've gone for the Spigen um, ultra hybrid tech but I've gone for some that I uh, an orange one so I have no idea what it looks like but I wanted to add a bit of color I think it's going to be nicer than going for the, the clear one that um, so many people go for or the black one I think was going to be nice with this particular model so um, I've left the protective cover on I've only just got my kind of phone set up I migrated across from a four so all of that went very smoothly. Um, um, apparently you needed to put the SIM in first before doing doing the backup from iTunes, but that way around worked for me. So if you're doing the same thing. So let's put the iPhone to one side and have a look at these two products though. Initially, that's what I want to do. Oh, so get that out. Nice packaging. Speed and do some really nice, nice stuff. Um, just wanting to show how the orange works or doesn't work for you. Um, product serial number so you know it's original. Um, we've got removable film there. Yeah, I quite like that, the, the orange. Um, there's some detailing on, on that, but uh, yeah, I see. Let's, um, let's have a look at that in a bit. When, and I'll take some nice close-up pictures, some macros of it. So. Um, so you can see whether you're going to like that colour for your phone or not and show it obviously when I get that done. Um, more interestingly though, for me, is this, the JTEC, is tempered glass but it's really got some great features on it. Um, it comes with a, a cleaner and a dust thing so I'm going to go through the process of adding that in a, in a different video. Um, but let's just have a quick look in the box, if I can get into the bloody box, quickly that is. Anyway, I hope you're having a good day. Um, mine's going okay. It's always nice to have a... Oh, what's that? So that's a little bit of packaging. And some foam there. Really uh, making 50 cents into a dollar. So what is the expression? There's a thousand ways to make 50 cents a dollar. So maybe these things could come out cheaper if they didn't put it in so much so much packaging. I mean, it's, it is a glass protector. I'm used to only the film ones on the four. Gave up in that with that in the end. Um, so there's two of them. That's the first thing. I think a lot of people screw up, which is the other reason I'm going to make. I'm making this video. So let's have a look. See what we've got. That looks to be the actual thing that you place on and peel off. I need to kind of keep. Keep everything clean. Dirt, you know, if I place that down, I'm introducing dirt immediately. So that's that's one of the things I would say about all of this. There is there is a cloth and and the blue sheet apparently put on to remove the dust. This is why I haven't taken the top sheet off yet. I'm just trying to make this process as pain painless as possible. Um, and then these things here, which are apparently. To help you put it on. The instructions go, I mean, the glass screen protector is composed of two parts, a glass screen protector and a glass screen protector carrier. So that's the thing that you peel off of the glass screen. Um, clean, the, clean the phone screen with the supplied cloth firstly. Stick the blue dust film on the phone. We're going to go through this in a, in a separate video. So that's just um, showing you quickly this duo of products that you might, might be interested in. This is the best apparently for um, for the iPhone 6 and 6S. The 6S has a 3D touch, so some of the thicker ones might not work as well. This one apparently does work. It's got really hard um, resistance. Spigen do one, but I'd read that it cracks around the edges and, and makes your phone look a bit less than, less than it can. So we're gonna see, and we're gonna do a long-term review on, on both of these products. Um, but uh, yeah, let's let's end that for now and um, 
come back for the actual fitting of the glass screen, which needs a bit more preparation for.